Okay, so <coughs> excuse me. Some weird stuff was happening there. Um, so let's just go ahead and begin. All right. Let's begin. Begin. Okay. All right, tests are not allowed. This test can be taken all. No, that'll be changed to three times because right, I haven't launched it yet. Uh, force completion. This test can be saved in reserve. Yeah, of course. Okay, let's do some more of it. If I throw a ball straight in the air 10 meters per second, how high will it go? Okay, how high will it go if I throw it straight in the air at 10 meters per second? Well, one thing we can do is we can use our energy. I like to use the energy formulas. Those those work out to be the best usually. In other words, for problem number one, okay, if, if I'm going to throw it in the air, well, I can also look at the, um, if, I, if I'm going to, let's not do the energy. Let's look at the kinematic equations. So V final is equal to V initial minus G times T. Okay, so I'm going to have to do two little formulas here. V final, when, it, when I throw it and it gets to its maximum height, that's zero. And that equals 10 minus 9.8 times T. And so the T then is equal to 10 divided by 9.8. How do you get that so fast? Add 9.8 to both sides and then divide by 9.8. That's how you got that, all right? And so you wind up with 1.02 seconds. That's how long it took to get in the air. That's how long it took to get from here up to its maximum height, which I don't know yet. I still don't know what that is. But I do know that the time, because I can do this because I've got a constant acceleration, is 1.02 seconds. So therefore, the height, will equal my average velocity times my time. This is all your basic um, this is all that fun basic uh, sorry physics 210 stuff. So the average velocity would be 10 plus 0 because here's my initial Here's my final divided by 2, and that'll be 5. And so the height that it goes would be 5 meters per second times 1.02 seconds, and that comes out to be 5.1 meters. Okay? At least I hope that's the answer I put there. Woo, that was hard. Well, how long? Oh, we did both of those in one stretch. Okay, so in the Walker video, how high did that kid jump? See, I'm, I'm, I'm making you watch some of it. So what force makes Walker soar in the air? Which one of these? Temporary to fight. We know that's not true, right? If Skywalker pushed off the floor with an acceleration of 9 Gs, like they said. They said he pushed off the floor with an acceleration of 9 Gs. I want to calculate the force the Earth pushed up on him. Okay. Let's assume Walker has a mass of 90 kilograms. And then 9 Gs. What is 9 Gs equal? For heaven's sake. That seems like a tremendous amount of force. Okay. So let's see what that is. I want to see if I can get a little bit brighter here. Does it seem kind of dark to you? Is that a little better or is it washing out now? I like that a little better. Let's get a little bit darker. Sorry, I should do all this before. There, that's better. That's much better. And let's zoom in too, because I got a few students who, there we go. Now it's getting better. There, that's what we want. All right, so I apologize for those first ones. So what is the question? Oh, we already got through all those. So we're up to question four. So let's stop here and record this part.